good news. You can blame the sounds and odors that come from your body on bacteria. <clears throat> we tend to be a little uptight about all these bodily sounds and smells, but understanding the science behind what may appear to be so gross may make it, well, a little less gross. It's a daily problem. After a night's sleep, many people wake up with a bad case of morning breath. Bacteria are behind this nasty odor. Your mouth is actually teeming with about 10 billion bacteria that take in food and excrete waste. Some bacterial waste is in the form of gases, which can stink pretty badly. Bad breath is caused by the combined waste products of these bacteria. While you sleep, your body stops producing saliva, which contains antibacterial compounds. In the absence of this cleansing liquid, bacteria multiply overnight, and your breath can smell pretty bad in the morning. During the day, your body produces up to a liter and a half of saliva, which keeps bacteria in check and washes away food particles that may be lodged in your teeth and on your tongue. If you don't brush your teeth before going to bed, the bacteria have a lot more food particles to munch on at night, leading to a lot of bacterial waste. Anytime your mouth is dried out, your breath starts smelling, so drink a lot of water to keep bad breath at bay. Chewing sugarless gum can help, mostly because it increases saliva flow. If you have a lot of plaque, a layer of bacteria that sticks to your teeth, then you may have bad breath all day long. Also, clinical studies seem to show that 80 to 90 percent of chronic bad breath is caused by the tongue, not the teeth. The rough surface of the tongue, especially on the back, is a perfect place for bacteria and food particles to lodge together. Tongue scrapers are used in addition to toothbrushing by many people to clean their tongue as a standard part of oral hygiene. One of the best ways you can prevent breath odor and strengthen your teeth is by using mouthwash with an antimicrobial ingredient that kills plaque-forming bacteria. One key ingredient of many mouthwashes is fluoride, which is known to strengthen tooth enamel. The primary compound found in tooth enamel is a strong mineral called hydroxyapatite. The bacteria present on our teeth produce acids that cause hydroxyapatite to break apart in a process called demineralization. A certain amount of demineralization is normal. It's also common for the reverse process, remineralization, to occur. If too much bacterial acid is produced, demineralization can outstrip remineralization, leading to a cavity. Fluoride ions present in mouthwashes help the enamel to remineralize. They accumulate on the surface of the enamel, thus creating a barrier that prevents bacterial acids from reaching the enamel. Also, the fluoride ions attract calcium ions, ultimately changing hydroxyapatite into fluoroapatite, which is an even stronger mineral. Bad breath can be caused by many different gases, but two of the most common ones are the sulfur-containing compounds hydrogen sulfide and methyl mercaptan. Other products that lead to bad breath are indole and scatol, the two compounds primarily responsible for the smell of feces. Watch our second video on the chemistry behind gross stuff to find out what causes acne and what you can do to prevent it.